<clears throat> yeah. The author five minute focus episode three hundred and ninety one. Business process. Last time we talked about uh, writing new words. Now let's talk about the craft, all of that stuff outside of writing new words that still goes to craft. Uh, so, yeah, Stanley's not in here. He abandoned me because it's so freaking cold. All right. Plotting. Uh, Nora Roberts has time in her schedule to just sit and think. Think about how important that is, being able to think freely about your story, about what you need to write. You can always write better if you know what you're going to write and you know what you're going to write when you've had time to think about it, and it all made sense. <clears throat> so plotting and thinking. Even if you're a pantser, you're still plotting because you're thinking about what happens next. Okay, the characters go on this tra- this uh, uh, tangent. Still, you're thinking about that. You're, that is part of the plot as you go. Now, don't let them get too far off where now your whole story is wrecked. Don't do that. So you think about where you gotta, you have to go to end. But thinking... It's a critical element to writing a great story. You have to you have to know what's going on in your own head. It has to make sense, and then you have to get those words down. Research. If you write anything that requires research in order to get make it more realistic, whether it's contemporary, even futuristic, uh, past, definitely has anything historical. You better get the research right, otherwise the fans will uh, uh, eviscerate you. And it's it's easy enough once you get that right. Uh, It'll pull the fans in and keep them engaged. And a lot of times fans are wrong, too, when they think about certain, hey, why is this a gladiator doing this? Well, that's the way they did it way, way back then. They changed in 100 B.C. and so on. Yeah, it's all research. Make sure you get the spittoons right in the old bars, bars of the Old West. World building. This is where you take your research. You create this world, whether it is a... New world, whether it's a contemporary world, you still have to know here's the place and here's what's going on and all these elements that then maybe you'll put some of them in your story. Maybe you won't. So world building is time consuming in that if you do too much world building, J.R.R. Tolkien, for example, maybe not too much, but he spent like 30 years building that world. 30 years. Okay, I don't have that much patience. It also required him to have a day job. Jared Tolkien had a day job because his world building was so extensive. Uh, So, yes, if he were to write a how-to book, he would say you must create seven languages from scratch in entirety before you can start writing the book. I suggest maybe you don't. Editing. That also includes rereading. Is it smooth? This is as smooth. Are the transitions there? Does it flow from one character's voice to another? How does it work? And this is a... I think this is very important, especially as you're trying to put together a saleable product in a way that you saw it in your mind. That rereading, especially if you can reread it aloud or click on one of those super cool technical devices that rereads it for you in a way that you then understand and can see, uh, this is how it here, this is how a a reader will hear it, and then you'll be able to clean it up. So that's an important element that's not crafting new words. And can you do all of this, this plotting, this research, the world building, and uh, the rereading and editing while still crafting new words? I suggest you can because it's this is for your business. So you put on your business hat and you start slapping the uh, the 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 worker bees around. Well, that's you. So you put on your artistic hat and you go to town. You have to get those new words because that helps you get forward. You can edit, you can do all this other stuff, but the new words is is building your platform one level at a time, and that's how you climb higher and higher on the on the uh, level of the uh, <clears throat> the mountain of success. Just keep building that platform, climbing as you go, and you can see that you can do these things in conjunction. You're editing the last book while writing the next book, because that also helps you refine the last book so it leads better into the next book. I'm a big fan of just keep writing. You've got to get those words uh, to keep moving forward. Uh, One book, and then you dive out and don't do any artistic stuff while you're doing all the marketing and everything for the last book. Then you kind of lose it because then it becomes easy not to write new words. And it should never be easy not to write new words. That should be your respite. That should be the crutch that you hang on. That's 
you got into writing because you love those new words. Get the new words. And as you're going back, you're going to say, hey, here's here's a couple of foibles that I have. Let me correct those, and those new words will be even better. So that's learning, uh, improving with intentionality. It works. All right, there you go, business process. And you've got to take all of that into account for when you're allocating your time. So if you have an hour, do you take a half hour with this other stuff and a half hour with new words? That's up to you. It's how you how you generate your new words so you can keep your business moving forward. All right. Peace, fellow humans.